Hey, I got a silver making method for you. So, I mean, this method is going to be really easy because it's basically sucking cock under a bridge. It's really easy to do. You don't, well, you do need a little bit to do it. You need some clothes and you actually need to advertise that you're doing it. Just come to the closest marketplace to you or you can do it in all marketplaces. Search for good weapons that being used. So CVC sets, for my example, let's take the Rift Clave. So if we go to the 4 tree, you can see the buy orders at 300,000 and the sell orders are at almost 500,000. We just set buy orders for CVC gear and then quickly sell it to people who are in need of quick CVC gear. So imagine you're going to a CTA and you need to buy something quick. You're not gonna think about that 100k for a second, you just need to get back to the fight and fuck some people up. I think this is a pretty good method to make silver because you can just, you know, leave it laying there in the market and honestly just not look at it. Only sometimes you need to adjust the price change because it might go lower, it might go higher. It's like buying crypto, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. And honestly, you can just rinse and repeat this method, do like CVC armors or if you don't have much silver, you can also do assassin hoods. So the buy orders are for example 24k, sell orders are like 50k, make 20k. There's also a better method that I'm gonna show you right now. This is the newbie way of doing it, but it's still decent in my opinion. You just get yourself a cheap 4.0 gear set. So this is good for starters, but you can also do it when you're late game because it produces a lot of fame and silver. So my gear is worth 30,000 silver, but this set is pretty sustainable. You can fight bigger groups of mobs with it and you can also heal. With your helmet you can actually stop their casts, which is pretty good if you want to survive an auto attack and auto target ability. But let's see how good the method actually is then. So our targets are going to be open world mobs. So these are like homeless people, they basically just sit on their own in random spots on the map. You just search for them, it's easy to find honestly. But these groups, like the ones I'm passing right now, you can just basically dismount and beat them up. I don't recommend doing that in real life to homeless people, and I don't advise it. But it's still possible. Now, once we reach the tier 7 zones, the mobs are going to be a little bit stronger, but we can kill them and get a lot of fame and silver. I think it's like 1.5k silver per mob if you actually pick the good mobs. So statistically saying, we should be able to get our gear back in like 15 mobs. Now the method is that you get more silver and you can buy better gear, so you can go for example 4.2 and you can actually get decent gear and do the mobs quicker. Now, I did find some troubles on my way because as you can see there are gate campers and they started walking towards me and that is usually not a good sign. And they did not want to let me pass, so I had to ask them politely. Now, since I used someone else's bait, it was pretty easy for me to just go in from the side, I mean, not that hard, right? I don't think they caught them because the DPS came back, but that's not my problem, I'm here for the mobs. Now I found my first mobs, but the zone is pretty dead, I think someone already is clearing the mobs, but let's try. And I will also track the timer so we know how long it took us to get our gear worth back. Alright, so the first three mobs, we should get like 4.5 thousand silver here. And also it's good fame, so don't forget about that. As a veteran, I think this is a bit too easy for me, to be honest. It's honestly not that complicated to dodge the skill shots and just to select your targets correctly. Don't fight the mobs when there's someone around because you might get ganked. I do have to say I think this is the most underrated silver making method in the game right now because I don't really see that many people open world fame farming solo. You get a lot of fame, you get a lot of silver and you don't really have to worry because you're running low tier gear. So if you get ganked it's not really that bad. It's like masturbating into a river, there's so much there that it's not gonna affect it at all honestly. Now counting in the silver that we made off of the small mobs, we already made our gear. So we made 30,000 silver in 4 minutes, we made our gear back. So basically you can just go back deposit this as a safety net, go out again and do it all over again and if you die you have the safety net, you can buy new gear and go again and again until you become a billionaire. Now I talked to my team, you know, all of the professional silver making people and I also did some research of my own and I figured out the best end game way to make silver is going to be crafting and there's really good ways to level it out but we're going to have to get more in depth with that. I mean you can always just put everything on black and you know buy gold with it but I don't recommend it or advise it. I'm against gambling because I lost all my life savings but you know that's just me, everyone has their own luck. 
So into crafting now. So I have videos on how to level up food and potions fast, but let's just jump into the market and get on with how to level up normal crafting. So armors, weapons, all that good stuff, you know, but it's kind of late game stuff. So I don't recommend beginners doing this. If you're a new player, I recommend doing the first method that is open world fame farming and silver farming. This is going to waste a lot of your silver and to max out crafting you need to probably use like 5 to 10 million silver on each tree or even more and it's not still gonna be maxed, the main tree is going to be maxed. I'm gonna be honest, if you didn't invest into bitcoin in 1993, you're already done. So just try to make the best you can out of your situation and do crafting as much as you can. Because you can use your focus on it, get more silver, and it's basically going to snowball higher and higher. The returns might be small at the start, but they're going to be really big at the end. Now I got my logs, I got my steel bars, and we're just gonna craft access because Martlock has that bonus. We're gonna craft access, we're gonna go for a great axe, and then we're gonna get a halberd. And basically, it's not gonna give us a lot of levels because crafting takes time as I said, it's for end game players to be honest, so as I said, new players, don't do it please, you're just gonna waste your silver and you're not gonna get anything out of it, because this method of leveling is the best there is. Now once we crafted everything, we're just gonna jump onto the third power on the station, so that's the study button, and we're going to study all of our items. So keep in mind, this does delete all of the items we crafted, but it turns it into fame. So for example, if we're at level 7 after crafting, we study all of those things and it's gonna give us more fame than we crafted. So it's gonna give us like level 20 for example or something like that. So a reminder again, this will delete all the items, you can use focus for extra fame. I won't do it because I'm actually leveling up my plate armor so I don't want to waste focus. If this is your first crafting tree, what you are wanting to level then use focus 100%, it gives you like so much more fame and you can basically get your shit leveled up fast as fuck. If you use these methods it will burn a lot of silver but you're going to uh, stay ahead of the game so whenever you want to craft CVC gear but I recommend focusing on one crafting tree singularly because if you do too many you will just get overwhelmed and you won't be able to make a lot of profit and the others will just get ahead of you. Now please don't charge me by my chest Go because yourself. I have a lot more loot in Go other places you know. Yourself. So thanks for watching this video and I have other guides on my channel as well if you need them. Don't forget that there's a discord down in the bio that you can join and ask questions and get real time answers from me. Basically instant to be honest. I also sometimes stream on Twitch so make sure you check that out. Otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Talk about it. You look so sexy when your hands are.